Uh, someone asked me a question on how to start the life in the US, especially for the single parents, if you win a green card lottery. And I came to realize that is a very important question because there are so many people, they're single parents, either mothers, they, do, they, are, they are no longer in relationship with anybody, they have their kids, maybe one or two kids, they have won a green card lottery. Mostly women, but also there are men who are single parents, they are single dad, uh, they want to come with their children in the US what would be the process in that situation so how do you start the life how the life will be if you come here with maybe one year old two year old in the u.s how life will be at the beginning so welcome everyone and even if you are not a single parent but this important information is, is very important applicable if even if you come with your children even if you are coming husband and wife or with your kids it will be a very good start to know to know how do you start the life in the u.s and if you have children who are very young, I'm talking about maybe let's say the kids who are maybe five, three, two, whatever, not maybe different from maybe the kid is 15 years old. That will be a different story. So you have won the green card lottery. You have a kid, maybe one month old, five year old, three years old. Life in the U.S. is a little bit different from the countries we, are, we come from. Uh, especially, like for me, for instance, I come from Africa and Tanzania in particular. Uh, in most cases, we have extended family. We have a community. We have people who can help us, just relatives. We have friends. We have neighbors who can come and check your child, support you, moral, whatever support they can give you. But also, in most cases, we have opportunity to have people like nanny maid like you can have someone living with you house boy house girl maid whatever you call them can be able there you can be able to support them with your salary of 500 us dollar per month you can have someone stay for you and you can pay per month and be able to help you with your child is that the case in the united states of america is vastly different once you come to america first of all you cannot afford to have a nanny. You cannot afford to have maid at your home. We don't have maid. And child care, daycare is very expensive. Education is like this way. From zero to five or four something, the child doesn't go to school. Public education starts with five years old. You can go to school. And the public school is free of charge from kindergarten. So prior to five years, basically, is on your own. In what sense? You have to make sure that your child is staying with you or the child will be able to go to daycare. By daycare, the cheapest daycare you'll have will be at least 1,000 US dollar per month. But mostly they run 1,200 to 1,500. That's very normal prices here. So that's number one to consider. How expensive it is to have a daycare, to take your child daycare, and not 24 hours. It is just like from eight maybe to four, just eight hours, nine hours maybe. So that's number one, it's very expensive. Secondly, we don't have boarding school in the US. Many countries we are using someone is six years old, you take to boarding school and you just be there, husband and wife, you just wake both of you. There is no boarding school here. So if there is no boarding school and you cannot afford having a nanny or houseboy or house girl or any maid at your home, and you cannot take your child to daycare, don't have that money, that means as a parent, husband and wife, father and mother. If you are a single parent, you are a hundred percent responsible for your child. And in case you didn't know, life in the US is different. Everybody lives at their own. It's indoor life. It's not like you go in Tanzania, you go to Dar es Salaam, you go to Nairobi, you go to Accra, Ghana. Everybody's just in the street, just walking around. It's not outdoor. You get out of the house, it's completely quiet. No one you cannot see outside. Everybody inside. Someone is going outside with the specific objective. I'm taking my child to the park to play. I'm going to the 
mall to buy one, two, three. It's not just I'm walking around, just I don't have any schedule. No. So you'll be 100% irresponsible. And there is a certain age. Each state have different regulation. You cannot leave your child unattended at home, maybe at below the age of 12 or 13, depending on each state they have different. So you cannot leave your child at the age of 10 and you are going to the mall. What if there is an accident? You can be, your child will be taken away. So, and when you come to America, you cannot come to America and expect from day one to get a professional job, whether you have a bachelor degree, whether you have a master's degree. You will come here and start with the minimum jobs, working at the warehouse, working at the supply, working at the, uh, at the mall, working in different, like, this is just minimum old jobs you can be starting with. So that will be number one thing you have to know. You can be working in the restaurant, cooking, washing dishes, serving at the restaurant, customer service here and there. So all those kind of jobs, they'll give you eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen dollars per hour. So, and if you have just one job, let's give the example. Let's say your job gives you twelve dollars per hour. Twelve dollars per hour, and your job is working forty hours per week. That is a minimum job like full-time job because if you exceed 40 hours that is overtime so let's say you have one job so if you have one job per week per month you work 160 hours that is 1920 if you are paid 12 dollar per hour so if you have that amount of money remember you have a state tax you have a federal tax that is be number one then you are going to pay social security you are going to pay medicaid so up to there, then you are going to pay your normal health insurance. So out of this one, they might take maybe 400 already. You might remain with 1,500 or 1,400. So, and you have a child, you are a single mother. Who will be staying with your child? A child is four years old. So if you have this amount of money remain with 1,500, are you going to pay 1,000 for someone to stay with your child for all those hours you'll be at work? That's very difficult. So in the end, you cannot be able to survive. You cannot leave a child unattended. But if you are, a child is at the age of school, maybe at the age of five, to the age of going up, if the child is at school, that will be helpful. So remember, if you're a single parent, what is the age of your child? If it's be, be, before the age of school, my advice to you will be, come with your child in the U.S. Within the first month, you'll get the actual green card. Then take your child back to your country. Pay your parents, pay someone to help to take care of your child. Start yourself to get a good job. Work so hard, get establishment. Then you can be able to sustain your life. Then you can bring your child. But if your child is already in the age of school, maybe maybe second grade, third grade, that will be better because while the child, you find a job, when the child is at school, you are working. And maybe when you are the, after school, you can pay just for one hour or two hours uh, daycare. They can hold your child for one or two hours, you're going to be able to work. That will be able to help you. But you cannot be able to afford it to every single day to pay for nine hours of daycare if the child is under the age of starting school. So that will be something you can be able to consider. But what if you are both parents already come with your child in the US? That you can be able to, 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 to work. Maybe one child works during the day, another, I mean, one parent is working during the day, another parent is work, working during the night. Or someone can be working from home, like data entry job, Based on the assignment you are given, you can be working a certain assignment from home or doing some sort of transcription from home without affecting, you can be with your child at home, you can be able to work from home and be able to do things of that nature. You can do medical billing. So there are certain kind of jobs you can be able to work remotely from home and you can be able to still have your child. You don't need to pay someone extra. So you have to be able to see all these options you are going to have. But don't expect that you'll come to America because many people, they are thinking that that's where the concept of public change comes. Oh, I'm, I'm coming here because it used to be you can come here, you have a child, they'll give you a uh, food stamp if you have green card. But now they don't do that. Don't expect you can come here, they'll give you a free job. They'll come here, they'll give you housing. You come here because I have twins, they'll give me this one. No, 
They're not going to give you that. You don't qualify at the moment because you have never paid a tax in the US. So you have to be for a while so that you can be able to qualify with those kind of things. So that's my advice. If your child is under the age of going to school and you're a single parent, come with your child. At least first for the second month, get the actual card. Find a way on taking your child back to your country because he's already have the card. Start working and find a way to bring your child once you have means to bring whatever. But if your child is again is going to stay in your country for more than a year, there is advanced parole form you need to fill. If it doesn't fill that form, it can cost your child not to come back to US as a green card holder. But if you are par both parents, if your child, you are a single parent, but your child is in the age of school, that is good because while the child is in school for eight, nine hours, you will be working your, all those hours. So you can be able to find a job working on that kind of time. But again, if you are both parents in here, you can alternate. Like one is working during the day, one is, is staying at home with the child if the child is not in the school time to go. But one works during the night, well, so something like that. But if you are both parents, you are here, and the child is in school, uh, school age, that is the, there is no problem. Both can be able to work, and one you can be able to pay maybe for two extra hours for uh, after school program there will be still have your child which will be maybe uh 12 dollar maybe for those hours or 15 dollar but you can be able to pay small amount per day it can be able to can survive in entire month so that is something i want to share because it affects so many people and so many people have been asking me questions about coming with children maybe before the age of school or even after the age of the school how do you start your life in the u.s but trust me the way you have been used to handle your children, taking the children to boarding school, there is no boarding school here. The way you have been used to have house girl, house boy, maid, whatever, someone come to help you, that doesn't help you here because it's so expensive. You cannot be able to do that in a regular full-time way. So those are the things you have to consider once you are coming here. But education, remember, from kindergarten to high school is free of charge. So there is no about, oh, my child is studying international school in my country. What if I come here, English media, what am I going to do? Public school is free. People are going to private school. Private school in the U.S. is different concept than private school in many countries in Africa or Asia. Many countries in Africa, we are going to private school because it's good education, whatever. But here, private school are more like religious institutions. So that my child can be able to even say the word Jesus in the church, I mean in the school. But in a normal way, you cannot be able to do that in the public school. So there are things like some parents they prefer private school because they can even pray before lunch, but public school you cannot do anything like those. So there are certain kind of uh, behavior, habits you want your child to have certain kind of uh, childhood upbringing. One is at school and one is at home. We can have the same concept of raising my child versus public school, but it's not like all private schools have the better education system than public school, no. So those are the things I want to share with you about uh, being single parent or just to have, you are coming with the children, whether they are under the age before starting school or the age of school, things of that nature, you have to be able to consider uh, what you are getting into to come to America. It's not easy. It's very complicated. There is no, like I'm taking my child to my neighbor. My neighbor will come to watch my child. No, 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 no. You are hundred percent responsible for your child. You'll be cooking your own food. You'll be cleaning yourself. You'll be doing everything on your own. But yes, there are dishwashers. There is all other things, but you have to do that. So if you come as a husband and wife, you come here, forget about Africa. Uh, masculine life that okay I'm a father I'm not going to cook I'm not changing diaper for the children no here you have to do because you'll be staying with your child you have to change your you change you have to change the baby you have to cook you have to prepare everything so here is 50 50 life so once you're coming here as husband and wife please remember that things have to change your behavior or the lifestyle you had to your country it doesn't apply in American lifestyle. Otherwise, you'll be having a necessary program, problem every single day, marital problems. So thank you, everyone. I hope this will be helpful for you uh, when you are making choices to come to America in the situation I've been able to describe. So 
All the best, everyone. Again, remember to, sub to subscribe to this video, uh, to this channel, and share this video to many people. You can follow me on my YouTube here. You can also get me on my uh, Twitter, which is my name, Ernest underscore Makulilo, is in my Twitter uh, account. You can get me my, on my Instagram, EBM Scholars or EBM Signature. You can find me there. Uh, so all those areas are going to be able to answer some of the questions you might be having. So thank you again and all the best, everyone.